Weird. Weird. Yes, we are back, Cambio. That's right, cancel Christmas. Josh Peck is back. Oh, this feels so right. This feels so right. Welcome. This is a live Q&A with this guy. Dream come true. What's going on, Cambio? Happy Thursday. Yes, I'm here for your questions. I'm going to be raw. I'm going to be uncut. And I'm going to be inspirational. So get ready to have a life change. Because this is happening. Do a little uh, Twitter McGee right here on this device. Hashtag Bodie on Cambio. <laughs> B-O-T-Y on Cambio. And this is really happening. You can ask anything. What am I? What am I doing right now? What am I doing right now? Open book. Open book. <laughs> Open book. Whatever you want to ask. Let's get it started. Let's get cray. See what happens. Refresh. Let's see. Okay, from... Jom Jomana one four three. If you were food, what would you like to be? That's easy. I like to be a sushi roll because it's tight, it's compact, and it's good in bites. You know what I'm saying? And I've always wanted to be Japanese. Okay. Let's see. What's next? Uh, at Katie Doe, Katie Doe. O M G. Your vines are hilarious, bruh. Couldn't have said it better myself. Thanks, Mom. Uh, let's see, what do we got? What do we got going on here? Did you learn any dance moves from at new R5 member? Okay, in my new movie, Battle of the Year, coming out September 20th to a theater near you, um, we were surrounded by some of the best B-boys in the world. Like, these guys are just masters at their art and what they do. So, needless to say, I was born with a certain set of moves. And this body was built for dance. And I honed my skills and my bar mitzvah. And then later on, I just continued to develop them. So when we first met, it was sort of like a rivalry thing. Because they were like, wow, you've never had dance lessons and we can feel your strength. And it was like we couldn't like look at each other. Like, you know, when you kind of look away because you're in awe of someone. But then we battled it out and they won. But they're incredibly talented and they kill it in this movie. And you should go see it. Next question. <laughs> Let's see, what's going on here? Uh oh, I lost it. Okay. If you had three wishes, what would they be? Uh, at Sa Solola98. Uh, three wishes, let's see. Wish number one, for you and I to hang out. Solola. Oh. <laughs> number two, whatever. Go play some ping pong, some table tennis while enjoying an icy beverage. Uh, number two, world peace, of course. Uh, number three, to arm wrestle Oprah. Because oh. I know that she would win. <laughs> and to be that humbled by someone that inspirational, I think I would carry that on forever. So, putting it out there, O. Make it happen, Oprah. It's right here, just saying. Oh, give it to you in profile. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What's going on next? Ed Mary972, can you say I love you? I love you. Okay, what's next? <laughs> um Ed wait, let's see. What's new? What's next? Oh, okay. Ed uh blank. Blanco Mio lover, uh, who decided for you to wear the Dinosaur Jr. shirt in Red Dawn? Uh, so Red Dawn was this dope action movie I did last year, and Dinosaur Jr. is this really cool indie band um, out of Oregon, and not a lot of people know them, but uh, I think some of the producers love Dinosaur Jr., and I was all about it, loved supporting like indie bands and whatnot, um, which is why I'm going to start my own band with my mom one day. And it's going to be awesome because she plays ukulele. I just, I just lied right to the Cambio audience. She doesn't play. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. Okay, uh, at 1D, my life one. If you can put any quality into a girl, what would it be? Well, that's an easy answer. Acceptance. <laughs> <laughs> and lowered values. Oh. <laughs> JK. Um, 
Next question. <laughs> Let's see, what do we got going on here? Uh, Ed Mary 972 awkward moment on the set of Drake and Josh. My life is one long awkward moment, um, but we constantly had random animals, random uh, guest stars on the show, so definitely awkwardness was, uh, was a major part of our lives on the D&J set, but uh, luckily it was pretty much my character to be one awkward mess all the time. Let's see. Um, <laughs> Et Kiana Carver, can you say my name so I can save it as my ringtone? All right, get ready for this, Kiana. <laughs> this is happening. Bring Kiana. <laughs> Bring Kiana. Pick up the phone. Bring it's your favorite TV star, Josh Peck, telling you to pick up your phone. Bring friends. This is happening. Kiana knows me. Bring, we hang out and play backgammon. Bring, you missed it. Way to go, Kiana. Bring. What do you... Uh, <laughs> you didn't pick up. Oh, there. Bring. Uh, why are you sending this person a voicemail? Bring. They're gonna know. Oh, that's for you. Oh, my <laughs> that's God. That's beautiful. Thank you. Make my wishes come true here at Cambia. Um... Let's see. Ed Queen Poser. What color are your socks? They're just white. They're classic. No big deal. Got that going on. Little blue pumas. Sure, why not? Style. Let's do it up. Try to get like a little Pharrell little vibe going on in like my uh, outfit that I picked out. Whatever. Low V. A lot of chest hair. Whatever. <laughs> Thanks, ethnicity. You know what I'm saying? It's fine. You know what I mean? I just... I wish I knew any other way than to keep it real. Okay. Uh, so Lola 98 with another follow-up awesome question. Uh, how are you so awesome? It's one of those things you can't work hard for. You just sort of let it happen uh, like gas. You just feel it come up and you try to deny it at first. You're like, no, no. And then you like look around and you're like, who's around me? And then you realize no one's around, and you go, oh, I can let it go. I can be awesome and not be judged. And so I let it sort of wash over me and wash over the adjacent room that I'm in. Um, okay, at Addison Beals, favorite moment in Red Dawn. Um, let's see. I don't know, Red Dawn was kind of like one long wish come true uh, for all my like boyhood tendencies. Like running down the street in, uh, in, in the middle of Detroit, Michigan, like with an AK-47. I was like, it's total uh, boy dreams come true. And then we also got to ride this truck through this forest with a drift car race driver actually driving us through. Me and this guy, Chris Hemsworth, I don't know if you ever heard of him, no big deal. <laughs> And uh, so we're literally coming like inches away from hitting trees and whatnot and going through these forests at like 60 miles per hour. It was, uh, it was sick. It was Let's amazing. call Chris Hemsworth right now. Let's call Chris Hemsworth right now. Hold on. That's it. This is happening. <laughs> Just get it on my device. <clears throat> Siri? Siri. Don't embarrass me for a cameo. Call Chris Hemsworth. Okay, hold on. No way, it's gonna go to voicemail. Pick up the phone. I'm not, I don't really get good reception in here. So, just darn it, technology. He would have picked up for sure. We, cause we, we still talk. We definitely still talk. Um, <laughs> let's see. Oh, okay. Another one from Ed Addison Beals. I see you, Addison. Uh, if you could create a new food, what would you name it? Whoa. Uh, okay, so it would be like a creme brulee um, croissant. Hybrid, and 
It would be called Chua Brule. Chua Brule. And that's coming to a restaurant near you soon. Okay, let's bring it back to what's important. September 20th, Battle of the Year, my movie is coming out. Shameless plug, shameless plug, no. Listen, I'm here with you, Cambio. We're hanging out. Battle of the Year. It's a beautiful thing. Thank you guys for coming and, uh, and chilling with me on this beautiful Thursday. Uh, okay, let's see. What do we got? What do we got going? It's truth or dare time. It's truth or dare time. <laughs> wow. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 my. All right, let's see what's going to go on here. This is about to get really weird. When I was a kid, no one asked me to play Truth or Dare. I was like, oh. it's fine, no big deal. Um, okay, show us boxers or briefs. <laughs> Naughty. Uh, neither. Or tweet at your celebrity crush right now. Wait, so it's an either or? You can choose, yeah. I mean, you could do both, I guess. I feel like a dare or dare. Uh, well. Oh, yeah. Let's see. I bring a little party with me wherever I go. And it's hidden under my clothes. And then I do a little tuck in with my shirt. This is a new look. It's like Justin Bieber has a drop crotch uh, pants. What if you're at the club, you're like, what's up, girl? How you doing? I got the front top. Yeah. All day. All day. Whatever, if you guys want to copy me, feel free to copy me. It's cool, don't worry about it. Trendsetter. Trendsetter right there. GQ. Oh man, my mom's gonna see this. She's gonna be like, Joshy, what are you thinking? You took your shirt into your underwear. Oh, do you wanna do another? We could go. We could. Well, Oh, wait, no more? Okay. One at a time. One at a time. They can't, they need to embrace Just relax. This moment. Right Drink now. this in. <laughs> this just happened. <laughs> so you get a full view right now? Okay. Um, at Glitterbomb26, what's your favorite, favorite vine? Okay. I vine a lot. And I love it. And I love that people love it. All right, at least I believe they do. Um... What's a classic vine? People like the Chick-fil-A vine. It's pretty present in people's lives when I'm driving by Chick-fil-A and I'm like, rolling by Chick-fil-A, close on Sunday, cause it's God's day, but I'm hungry. No. <laughs> that just happened. What? That just happened. That's like if Miley Cyrus did like a Hannah Montana reunion concert. Right here that happened. Like classic. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, let's see more. Oh man. Uh, Ed Kogan, Kogan's cover girl. Um, can I just say how attractive you are? Oh, you can say it. You can say whatever you want, darling. Um... At Team Josh Pecky, outstanding Twitter name. Um, <laughs> would you ever consider singing your Vines show you're a pro? Okay, first of all, thank you. Second of all, uh, duh. <laughs> um, would I ever consider singing? You know, this voice is for church, and it's something that I hold dear to me, and I don't know if I'm ready to share it with the world, but if I ever am, I'd like to do a collaboration between me and, I don't know, maybe a little Taylor Swift action. Taylor, oh. just putting it out there. If you want to meet in the middle, you know what I'm saying? If you want to put a face to a breakup song, this is the guy. <laughs> That's the face. You know what I'm saying? Focus in. Just saying. This is where it was born. Um, at... Dem Hips, Dem Hips Kendall. Uh, Josh, what is your favorite part about being an actor? Doing this. I mean, it's so dope. I get to do what I love and hang out with you guys and promote a movie that I'm really stoked about. Battle of the Year, September 20th. Um, <laughs> and the fact that I can make, you know, people happy that are like my age and just hang out. You know, it's really, I feel really lucky to get to do this and uh, I never get tired of it for sure.
Let's see. Okay, uh, at Team Josh Pecky, another one. Who are some of your favorite dancers? So in Battle of the Year, we have guys like Kid David, Casper, Luigi, Chris Brown, uh, some of the greatest dancers alive. And they're busting out moves that you wouldn't believe. They're totally going to blow your mind. And the movie's in 3D. So it's captured in a way you've never seen it before. So if you love dancing and you love dance flex, it's a no-brainer. Go ahead, or I'll pay for your popcorn. <laughs> That's not binding. <laughs> um, let's see. What do we got? Ed uh, Cam Camaro Man ninety three. Can we be friends? Absolutely. What are you doing later? Do you like the library? Um, <laughs> Ed uh, Georgian Georgian Aviate. Pirates, zombies, or ninjas? Oh. Follow up question. Why? Follow up statement. XX triple smiley face emoji. Um, <laughs> Okay, pirates. Pirates, I feel like if a pirate came over, I'd be like expecting Johnny Depp. And so I'd be like, I'm sort of not scared of you. And I really want to walk the plank, but that's like a weird sort of fantasy. <laughs> um, so whatever. Not, <laughs> 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 to your death? not to like my death, but like into like, I don't know, like 15 feet. Okay. <laughs> just like into like, I just want to do like a dive. Uh, so <laughs> Zombies? Okay, here's the thing about zombies. If they don't walk faster, then I'm not in fear. Because they're just be like, oh man, they're coming. I guess I'll stroll that way. Um, ninjas? It's hard to be... Well, the thing about ninjas is I've always wanted to be one. And I feel like I secretly am one. And so, I don't know. I feel like, yeah, I'd want to be a ninja for sure. Um... Et Dana E502, if you could combine two animals together to make one, which would they be? This is rough. So I've always wanted to be a duck. And I've talked about this on my last cameo. Because ducks have the market cornered on the best life. Because, like, I want to fly, I can. I'm a duck. Like, if I want to chill on the water, I can. I'm a duck. If I want to eat bread that some, like, shady old guy <laughs> threw me at the park, I'm eating that freaking bread. I'm a duck. So, I guess, like, if a duck and a dog, like, that's a, like, because ducks can't really live inside. So, like, if I could, like, chill at the park all day, but at night be like, yo, fellow ducks, peace, deuces, <laughs> mad fun, like, I'm going to go chill inside, eat some dinner, and watch some reality TV with my owner. <laughs> like, I'm going to go catch up on the Kardashians. Um, let's see. Uh, Mary972, describe Drake Bell in three words. Um, beautiful. Beautiful. And, uh, my brother. Um, let's see. What's going on? What else do we have here? Um, oh man, this is hard. Cambio, how's this going? Are you guys having fun? So much fun. I'm here with you right now. Should we do another, like, uh, Truth or Dare? Yeah, Truth or Dare. Oh, yeah. To wrap it up, yeah. All right, Truth or Dare wrap up. Truth or Dare wrap up. Okay. Call your mom to say hi right now. Oh, that's too easy. Or tell us a story from your youth of something you did that was bad but never got caught. Next question. Oh. <laughs> um, okay, tell us the story of your first kiss. I will once it happens. Or... Okay. Uh, or show us your hidden talent of beatboxing. And people wonder why I haven't had a first kiss. Listen, acting is tough, but when you have something to fall back on, it's no fear. Um, is that good? Am I done? Yeah, that was it. I feel really honored. I think it's amazing. Thank you. More questions? Wrap up? It's up to you. Me. If you want to take some more questions, right. and then we'll... A couple more questions, and then I'm out of your lives forever. <laughs> so drink this thing, because it goes down smooth. Mm -hmm. Boaz, how's it going? All right? You approve? Thumbs up. My lawyer Boaz says, <laughs> I'm killing it. Um, let's see, let's see. 
Uh, from at one D my life one. If you can make your own wardrobe, what kind of clothes would there be? Oh, okay. Obviously, the more glitter, the better. <laughs> I want to introduce long sleeves and shorts because I don't see enough of that. Because sometimes you want to let the bottom go, and you want to keep the up top kind of a mystery. So <laughs> think about that. Um. <laughs> uh, at it's Christina twenty two. What is the most romantic thing you've ever done for a girl? Uh, that's easy. Stop texting her. <laughs> You're welcome, every girl ever. <sighs> and on that note, I think this is a wrap. Yeah. Thank you so much. This is super fun. Oh man.